to the previous video because in this oh my god that's my baby sorry about that i have a beautiful one year old girl and her tumble content creation and i insist for attention Maya Okoth, an interior designer, an actress, and a mom to my subscribers. As I'm telling Sana for subscribing, thank you, thank you so much. Mili share, muka like my previous video. You guys commented, and I don't take it for granted. Twenty level, twenty level. You're here for the first time. You are very much welcome, and also you take a moment to just subscribe. Eh? Join us, join the fun. I want to start this video by thanking you for the love you guys showed me in my previous video. Aish, hey, I didn't expect it from you guys, but nini nani, nini nani, let's go like that. To end level, road to 5,000 subscribers. Keep subscribing, keep sharing to figure 5,000 subscribers. So today we are doing something different. Today I want you guys to come with me to my world my interior design world which is actually my career this video connects to the previous video because in this oh my god that's my baby sorry about that i have a beautiful one-year-old girl and her tumble content creation and i insist for attention so as i was telling you guys this video relates partially with the previous video that i did because i was in crashes doing this project that i'm going to take you through but uh, somewhere around uh, halfway three quarter way god did it i started working when i was doing that project so that is the reason why this wall is just so so special to me and today i want to show you how to transform a basic wall into something amazing this is for those of you who are in rentals and there's not much you can do najua nyumba si yako always you change so many things but still you want something na budget the first step that you're going to take on this transformation is to remove the wallpaper as you can see, we are working with a wall that previously had wallpaper. If you have a flat wall, then you are a step ahead. The reason why I removed this wallpaper is because I felt like it was so dull. The cream theme was just not it for me. That's the reason why I wanted something more dramatic and also to add light to the space. Wallpaper has two layers, the outmost layer and the inner layer. The outmost layer is the one that has patterns, be it floral, whatever it is that you picked. And the innermost layer is the one that you put adhesive and stick it to the wall. So the main concern or the main complaint that comes with wallpaper is that it destroys wall. That's the reason why I'm coming up with a hack that is going to help you remove your wallpaper without destroying your walls. So here are the steps. You will be required to make a solution of fabric softener, vinegar, and hot water that you use to soak your wallpaper. This makes it easy to peel and also a wall protection hack since your wall will not peel as you remove your wallpaper. And finally, vinegar. Okay, use your instinct. I just use my hand. Oh, emotional! I need a job, ma. I need a job. Good. Uh huh. Now we're going to get this inside here. At this point, I bet that you have noticed I'm using readily available household items so that you can also do this conveniently at your home. Save the solution for later. We're going to use it in the next step. Now we get to the spring. As when you peel the first layer, you will see a plain layer, mostly white or cream in color. This is the layer that you are required to dampen with the solution that you had previously made. But before that, carefully peel the top layer with the help of a knife or anything flat aged available in your home. Spray the solution evenly across the wall 
I changed my bottle because the first one was a little bit small. Here I am using sponge again, readily available item in your home. You're welcome. <laughs> this helps distribute the solution more evenly. Carefully start peeling the plain layer from down as you go up. It will blow your mind how effortless it will be. And also, just look at how satisfying that is. Wow! Since I was working with one hand, it was a very huge challenge to evenly peel the wallpaper at the top. That's why some remain, but not to worry, you can just remove pole pole too. Are you guys noticing anything? Yes, you're right. This is the time I started walking. How have you seen a crashes? And I didn't waste no time. Two weeks later, Nili Rudi Kwa project. I painted the first coat and the second coat on my own, but then I did notice I needed my team so so bad. So they came in and helped me with the installation of the wine scot. Here we're just taking measurements before we go shopping for the wine scot. Wine scots can be designed in very many forms. This is something that you can play around with the way you want it, eh? just the way you want it, how you feel it, how you envision it. You can integrate it into sections, five sections, four sections, especially if you have high ceilings. You can do as many segments as your wall can allow you to. In this case, I went for two, the upper section and the lower section. It's like I was done here, but there was one more step that was going to add so much beauty to this design. I did not like how the transition between the ceiling and the wall was, so I had to do something about it. This is when I introduced cornice, and I just love how it looks right now. The last and final step of this transformation is painting the wine scot design. It's not a game, it's a rage thing. <laughs> not me doing the review with a pony. So that was it guys for today. Thank you, thank you so so much watching this video up to this point i hope you learned one or two things about interior design but before we go i want to leave you with a tip so today's tip is that if you're going for paint shopping come on and akununua paint zako eh for maybe commercial use or personal use i advise that you don't pick paint before sampling what do i mean by sampling sampling is you get two shades lighter and two shades darker than the color that you are actually going for. So if you're going for navy blue, you go two shades lighter and two shades darker. Then those five samples, you take them home and try them out with your lighting and then you see how it turns out. And then and now you decide because most of the time it happens that lighting from your house or your apartment or the site that you're working at with the lighting at the shop is in a kwanga different. So you come home, and it's totally different. Something else. Unapata uli kwa umechagwa kitu yenye ni ni light na inakuja home inakuwa dull because your lighting is not as good as you get. You get all that. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much once again. I hope you have liked the video. If you have liked, kindly give it a thumbs up. Comment. Leave a comment. Give me those. Let me know what you want to see me do. Run to 5,000 guys. Run to 5,000. And also don't forget to share. Up at two. Eh? Up at two. Share to your friends and family and let them know about this amazing YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, this is the moment. Subscribe. 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 And let me meet you. But kabla that, I know kuna nini when you mlikuwa mnasema, ata msha comment, aja shika chai yake ndio isasa. I've drank it. Ni mwaribia comment. Mta mta comment nini. Thank you so, so much. And also, follow me on my social media platforms as they appear on the bottom of your screen. Bye-bye. It's not a game, it's a rage thing.